I'm just really happy for our players. Uh, you know, it, it obviously the last two games have been difficult, and um, we got such a young group. It's a it's a it's a difficult time, not only for K State basketball, for the state of Kansas, for the United States, for the world, and uh, dealing with COVID and all the different situations and and issues. And um, you know, our, to our guys' credit, they stuck with it. Uh, we get down seven zero zero. We go on a fourteen zero run. I think you know. It got unbelievable five five guys in double figures you shoot uh, you know we haven't shot the ball well 29 for 53 for the game uh you know obviously the free throws Davion makes the two big ones but you're eight for 18 but then you're 10 for 22 you got start three freshmen play four freshmen at times you got Rudy as a newcomer but uh you know you know you can say Davion was really good but uh, you know Mike McGurl with eight assists one turnover and 11 points and just made a lot of big plays for us. Uh, uh, Nigel, five assists, one turnover. Just, you know, Selton gets 17. Rudy goes four for five from three. Um, just, you know, we made a lot of good reads, a lot of nice nice plays, made shots. Obviously, we got to get better, and, and it's uh, just one hard-fought win. But, you know, for our guys, it gives them a little hope. And in this time, we all need hope. We all need love. We all need empathy. And and I've said it many times. And, you know, for a night, couple nights, we got a little bit of hope, a little bit of love. And, and now we can uh, got to take a next step and keep getting better. It's a long process. It's a big challenge. We did not expect, you know, we signed this group. We felt really good about the group. But, you know, in our mind, it was not going to be the starting. They weren't going to be starters. They were going to be mostly backups. And Obviously, that we lost some guys, some things happened, and now you know even even now with Casey Money, even Tone had was out a couple days this week. Um, you know we we they those freshmen rose up and uh, took a step, and now we got to keep moving forward. Uh, first question to Kellis Robinette. Bruce, why do you think all the newcomers had such good games at the same time today? Well, I think, you know, it's, it's a part of its experience. You got, you know, it's playing in games, uh, you know, coming in and, and practicing hard. And, you know, that, that's the other, you, you know, people say, well, why, why didn't you do this? Why we haven't had practice guys. I'm sorry. It's just, you can't get better. And when you're a freshman and there's an old saying 29 days creates a habit. And it, and it also, you have to get 29 days to break a bad habit. And we haven't even had 29 days together. So it's hard to, you know, every day it's some it's new, they're learning. Um, I just was really, you know, I, I thought Mike may, we're down seven zip, Mike makes a great drive, drops it off to Davion, gets a layup, I think an and one. Uh, then we start, you know, Selton hits a shot, we go on a little run, uh, you know, and, and so each one kind of chipped in. Uh, Dejuan, you know, Tone had foul trouble, so those other guys really stepped up. And uh, Rudy quietly, he's a great, great kid. Uh, unbelievable. I've told you guys that many times. I've complimented him. All the other guys, you know, have their immaturity at times, but Rudy comes every day and wants to get better. So I'm really, really happy for him. Um, you know, the, to me, one of the most impressive things, guys, is we have to get the ball in bounds. Four straight times because they're fouling us, and then we got to get the ball in bounce in a press offense. And I'll be honest, we practiced that maybe one time. So for those guys to do that and get it in, uh, it would have been nice to make a couple free throws and extend that lead. But uh, we did get some stops down the stretch, and uh, we did take got the ball in bounce and did what we at least gave us a chance. And uh, can you give us some updates on Monty and, and Casey? How, how long do you think they'll be out? You know, Casey had a procedure um, on uh, what, on Wednesday. So, you know, I, I think it was what everyone expected, Doc uh, and, and Luke, our trainer. And, and now it's just how long with the rehab. And, you know, it could be a week. It could be two weeks. It could be three weeks. And everyone's different. He had the knee cleaned up a little bit. And, you know, he, the one thing he is very, very diligent and with treatment. And uh, when, a, when it, this happened about three weeks ago and, 
and we just said, you've got to be, you know, disciplined with that treatment. And he, we asked him the next day, how many, what'd you do? Uh, you know, did you do your treatment? He said, I iced nine times. So he's a disciplined young man. Um, he wants to be back on the court. So I, I think if he's going to put in all the time to get back sooner than later, and I hope, I hope his knee and his body agrees with that. Uh, Monty, um, I think it's an ongoing process here. We're trying to figure out uh, discussions with the, you know, with his family and the doctors and um, just see where, we, if, where we're going to go with the next step. Thanks, Bruce. Congrats on the win. Yep. Next question to Tim Fitzgerald. Hey, Coach. Um, what was Wednesday like? I mean, how did the team react to this? Actually, had a great practice Wednesday night. We had to go late. Um, <clears throat> another factor, you know, I, I we play games during exam week, and you never play games during exam week. And um, and some of these guys, you know, a lot of them, it's their first college exam. So we're trying to work through exams. We're trying to work through practice, keeping their head straight. And uh, I thought Wednesday night was maybe probably our best practice that we had. Great enthusiasm, great focus. Uh, we did what we, you know, again, we had played the night before. And, and you, we just, we said, hey, these are five things we need to get done. And, and I, I thought they were very attentive, attentive to that. Um, then on, on Thursday, it was, you know, mostly prep for, for these guys. We didn't know what they were going to run. We, a lot of the stuff from last year. And we kind of – Coach Lowry did a good job of preparing our guys and then um, came with a good attitude. Very, very, very quiet in the locker room before. And I, I thought that, you know, hopefully I, – I thought it was going to be a good sign. And I think it was um, – because they, they were very, very focused at the task at hand. Davion and, and Selton, is this the kind of the tip of the iceberg, what they can offer? Well, they're both very good players, uh, you know, and, and they, needed, they needed time. Um, Selton, um, you know, Davion missed 28 days at one point um, since he arrived here in, 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 in well, August, September, and Selton missed 17 days. So, uh, to, to their credit, They've both been in the gym. They've both been to ther therapy. Uh, Selton shot with me the last two mornings. Um, I was hoping he'd go. He made two threes. I was hoping to be a little better. But, uh, you know, he, he, he made some plays. They're, you know, I, I think they showed that they're, they're good players. But, obviously, we've got to – the competition will increase next week. Um, you know, but I'm just happy for them. They, like I said, we get, get a little bit of hope. And, and moving forward, uh, Nigel still – I wouldn't say he was – Perfect, but for a freshman to go 12 points, six rebounds, five assists, one, one, uh, one turnover, and, and also he had a couple big shots in that one stretch where they were – we couldn't stop them, but we kept stepping up and making big shots. One last thing for me. What, that late game situation where it really tightened up, how good was that for your team to experience that and win? Yeah, it, it, and I, as I said earlier, I – to me, getting the ball in bounce is impressive. <laughs> Not just, you know, it was a lot easier. I still remember the Texas game. I don't know if you remember at Texas, and they would put Bamba on the ball, and he's, you know, got arms that are like Spider-Man, and, and Dean Wade had to take it out. We had to get it in five straight times, and, and that was hard as it was. And, and this, you know, I, I just kind of, I'll be honest, I drew something up in the, in the huddle that we hadn't practiced, and to our guys' credit, they made the right play. Um, I was afraid. I told Selton I thought he could get that cut. I was I just praying he went, if he went in for a layup and they didn't follow him, uh, that he was going to make that thing because it would have been a disaster otherwise. But they got it in, even the full court thing. That that's you know just to get the ball and bounce and have poise. Our, our whole thing, our whole focus was play strong, uh, play play t together, and if you do those two things, you have a chance. And I'm not sure how strong we played. But we, we were stronger definitely in a lot of things we did, and we definitely played together. You can see 20 assists, 29 field goals. Thanks, Coach. Uh, next question to Michael Goins. Yeah, Coach, you shoot uh, – <clears throat> pardon me. You shoot 55% for the game and 60% in the second half. How much more structured has your offense become just in the last, last few days? I mean, we just, I just made them run sets and we, we just, we wanted to take care of the ball. Um, 
you know, we, we put them in positions where they could, um, we could use their strengths. Um, you know, we're, we're trying to do something. We're trying to run some motion. We're trying to teach them how to play. I, I hope we can still do that so they become better basketball players as we move forward. But to give us a chance to win right now, um, we had to we had to slow it down, make you know, put them in situations where they can make some plays, and I thought they did. I, I you know, again, assists. They made the right reads. They, you know, there were a couple couple forced issues, but for the most part, some really 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 good plays. And on consecutive possessions, you were in the double screen for Nigel Pack. How much confidence have you had grown in this young man just in six games? Well, uh, you know, he's he's really, really solid. I, I At first half, I thought he forced a couple. Um, he's been in the gym a lot. Uh, you know, our confidence is – I'll be honest, when he misses, I'm I'm shocked. And I think right now he's, he's a little – you know, th- he said the quickness of the game, the reads, the physicality, it's been a little bit hard, plus the conditioning, all that stuff. Uh, he said it's been a little tougher than he anticipated. But, uh, you know, I, I – uh, when he misses, I'm, I'll be honest, I'm surprised. So, uh, you know, he, he's a really, really good shooter, really good passer, has a good feel of the game, good fundamentals, and, and he's an unbelievable kid. He, he was in there this morning and watching film, watching Lucas, because we were going to put him on Lucas. And, uh, you know, that kind of dedic- dedication is what, what – that's how you become a really good player, putting in the time and effort. Uh, we had Kobe Bryant and uh, and Nick Saban. There's a video if you can go on YouTube, and he, and they were together. It was an ESPN thing, I think, and we showed a part of that last night. And it just talked about the process and what it takes and dealing with adversity. And it was just there were so many things in there that were so good. And I hope it I hope it uh, you know it helped our guys. And and because you know Kobe said I didn't start my first two years in NBA. And I said, you guys are worried about play 30 minutes. And you said you didn't get enough touches. Or if you, you played, you know, this or whatever. And this is a guy that's one of the all-time greatest players, and he didn't start. And, you know, just some of those things. And, and he said, you got to love the process. The success only comes through the journey. And uh, I, it, it even hit me, to be honest. It made me really focus on what's, what's important with our guys. If I'm not mistaken, your last two field goals, if not two of the last three, were the McGill drive and the Rudy Williams corner three, just the significance of those plays? Well, just to be in those situations, uh, Fitz talked about, you know, getting tough, getting the ball in bounds, but also making those tough plays. And then Davion, he's the one that makes the two free throws. So you talk about the probably the last seven points, and I don't know for sure, but it might be those two field goals and Davion's. Two free throws, so all all newcomers, two freshmen, uh, made some plays when it when it counted. Thank you, Bruce. Uh, next question to Jackson Snyder. There, Coach. Just what coming off of a win like this, heading into conference play, what can that do for your young team and their their confidence heading into a game against Iowa State? Well, as I said earlier, just to give them some hope to feel good about themselves but now we got to come back to obviously the competition you're going on the road first time competition is tougher and then you got Baylor number one team in the country who's you know just throttled people so uh, uh it, it's you know we I, I just I'm just happy for them they can <laughs> some of them still exams tomorrow so um we got a light mental practice tomorrow with some weights and some stuff and you know get they at least go home feel good about it um you know, they, to their credit, Mike McGurl called a meeting uh, Tuesday night about 10:30, 11 o'clock. And I'm not sure what was said. I'm just, I, I found out about the meeting because I was trying to figure out the next day's practice and all that when they had exams. And I kept calling guys and no one answered. And they said, sorry, in a meeting, coach. So they had a meeting. So that, that showed some leadership, um, you know, and, and which is, which is really important. If, if, you know, we got so many young guys, so many new guys and, you know, for Mike to do that, play 36 minutes, 11 points, eight assists. Um, you know, it was it was uh, it's it's great for him also. And then f- more on Mike. He's kind of had to be the leading scorer the last few games and kind of lead the charge offensively. But tonight, he gets help from all over the place. What do you think that does for him, just in terms of like facilitating? 
Well, the thing I've talked to him about, I, I said maybe your best game at K-State, and, I, and obviously I, people would argue 17 against Creighton and the West Virginia game at home when we make the big comeback, and I don't know what he had that game, somewhere 18, 16, something like that. But that TCU game, the last game of the year last year, um, six assists, one turnover, made so many good plays. I, I, I don't know exact line, but I, I thought that was, you know, and, and I think early he put a lot of pressure on himself um, to try to keep making plays. And I thought tonight he, he made the right play and let the game come. The last thing on the board I wrote was, we got to play with a pace. We got to play with poise. And uh, both those things at the end of the game, um, we, we got some execution. We played with some, some poise, some pace. We got the ball in. We played strong. And as I said, we played together just to, you know, to have an assist turnover ratio like that is, is pretty impressive. Thanks, Coach. Anything else? Oh, uh, Grant Flanders with the next question. Hey, Coach. I just have one for you because uh, I think everyone else covered everything pretty well. Um, what about Dejuan? What, what went wrong with him in this game? Obviously, fouls were a problem with him, but was that pretty much it for you? For you? Yeah, you know, and, and it, it, he just got some fouls and uh, start the second half. and Or I think the, maybe it was the first half where he, you know, jumped. We tell him, you're not going to block shots on the ball. He jumps, he gets a foul. You know, just and – and now he, you know, totally gets out of rhythm. I thought he had a wide open three. I just – I'll be honest, I was praying while that ball was in the air just because I want him to do well. He, he, he cares so much. He works so hard. It didn't go in. Um, he's got to let the game come and do what he does well. And, uh, and I, he'll, he'll be fine. Uh, you know, turnovers has been something that he, he just trying to do too much. Just let the game come. Uh, let those other guys just – and, you know, he's been so good at rebounding and deflections and loose ball, all those things. Don't let what you can't do uh, hurt what you can do. And that's – I think that's a big thing for him. Uh, just let the game come to him. You know, we, we all believe in him. And, and obviously he had a really tough night the other night. A um, little bit of a confidence jilt to him. But uh, he'll be fine because he loves it. He cares so much. And uh, we, we obviously we need them. We need everybody. We need everyone to do things if we're going to have a chance. I have one more actually, uh, just because you know this game you went to a lot of small ball. You said that you would after uh, Fort Hay State. So just what was it like to go small ball more and start start with small ball, and uh, obviously kind of forced into it with injuries. But what is what is your take on how they played that? Well, I thought they did okay. And again, the practices we had. They were never with small ball. And, you know, you had Monty, you had Antonio, you had the big guys, Casey, Davion, you know, um, and Surrey. And, and so now within kind of in two days, we had to redo our whole, our whole system. And, you know, to their credit, um, you know, I, a lot of it we just said play basketball, keep the ball moving, make the right reads, get downhill. I thought we got downhill much better tonight uh, and made the – either to send back the kick aheads, the big guy, um, you know, that, that, but we, we got to come back tomorrow. Cause uh, as I said, the competition will get tougher and uh, we're going to have to uh, figure some, continue to figure some things out for them, help them, put them in position to have a chance to, to, to compete and be successful.